Most 16-year-olds have their sights set on parties, hanging out in the malls, movies, and the open road with their shiny new driver's license in hand, but not Haley Taylor Schlitz. The then 16 years old had her eyes on a much more profound prize, a law degree. The Texas native was accepted into nine law school programs and said she wants to continue her educational journey in law to help other students and fight for equity. So meet the trailblazing phenomenon who's redefining what's possible. With a passion for justice and a thirst for knowledge, Haley became America's youngest black law school graduate, shattering records and inspiring a generation. From her remarkable journey to her ambitious plans for the future, how is she able to stay inspired and achieve something this extraordinary? Join as we meet America's youngest black law school graduate, Haley Taylor Schlitz. Haley Taylor Schlitz, a descendant of immigrants from Africa and Europe, made headlines in 2019 after getting accepted into nine law schools. She was just 16 at the time. That was the first time the world's media decided to meet America's youngest black law school graduate, Haley Taylor Schlitz. In May 2022, she did it again when she graduated from Southern Methodist University's Dedman School of Law, becoming the Dallas Law School's youngest black student to do so, as the school confirmed to Good Morning America at the time. Now 21, Taylor Schlitz is officially an attorney, having been sworn in on 29 Wednesday, February 2024, to the Minnesota State Bar Association. Taylor Schlitz told Good Morning America, she passed the bar exam in Minnesota and is now licensed to practice law in the North Star State. Since graduating from law school two years ago, Taylor Schlitz has also turned to teaching and is currently teaching U.S. history to fifth graders at Idea Edgecliff, a K-9 public school in Fort Worth, Texas. Haley Taylor Schlitz, the trailblazing young attorney, recently made headlines by becoming one of the youngest black women to take the bar oath. In an email to Good Morning America, Taylor Schlitz shared her motivation for giving back to her community, stating she believes it is essential that Gen Z, especially Black Gen Z, give back to our communities and serve as teachers in our schools if possible. Her hope is to inspire her students to pursue their dreams, just as she has done. Taylor Schlitz has already made a significant impact through her community civic education program, Trailblazers Forum, Youth Civic Engagement, which empowers students between 12 and 16 to make a positive impact in their communities. Despite her accomplishments, she remains focused on the law and is pursuing additional bar licenses. When Taylor Schlitz earned her Juris Doctor two years ago, her professor Jennifer Collins praised her, saying they are incredibly proud of Haley and all she has accomplished during her time at SMU Law School. They know she is going to make a difference in this world and they can't wait to see all the wonderful places her career will take her. Taylor Schlitz has credited her family, particularly her mother, an ER doctor, for supporting her throughout her journey. She has said her village is a huge part of her motivation to keep going. Her mom has been probably her absolute biggest motivator, her biggest supporter, the person that she looks up to the most. Taylor Schlitz's mission to help other students and fight for equity remains strong, and she feels more determined than ever to make a tangible impact. She is now closer than ever to achieving her goal of writing legislation and making a real difference. With her dedication, passion, and inspiration, Haley Taylor Schlitz is a shining example for young people everywhere, and her accomplishments are a testament to the power of hard work and determination. As we delve further to meet America's youngest black law school graduate, Haley Taylor Schlitz, let's talk about her early life and inspiration, Haley's childhood and family background, and the experiences that sparked her interest in law and social justice at such a tender age. At 19, Haley Taylor Schlitz earned her Juris Doctor from Southern Methodist University's Dedman School of Law in Dallas, Texas, in May 2022, becoming not just the school's youngest law school graduate, but also the country's youngest black law graduate, according to the Fort Worth Star-Telegram. When Haley was nine years old, her parents opted to homeschool her because she was highly talented. This was the start of her incredible adventure. Without being constrained by the conventional education system, she was allowed to learn at her own pace and pursue her interests. At Tarrant County College, TCC Northeast, she began taking college-level courses when she was 10 years old. There, she excelled in a variety of areas, including art, history, speech, 
and foreign languages. At the age of 13, she graduated from Tarrant County College with an associate's degree. The next year, she transferred to Texas Woman's University, where she graduated with a bachelor's in interdisciplinary studies at the age of 16. As we meet America's youngest black law school graduate, Haley Taylor Schlitz, we must have noted that her story is not only remarkable but also inspiring. Only 5% of solicitors in the U.S. are black, and only 2% of black women are solicitors, according to the American Bar Association. Moreover, Haley is eight years younger than most of her contemporaries, given that the average age of U.S. law school graduates is 27. The promise of homeschooling for smart and talented adolescents who might not find sufficient support or chances in traditional institutions is also shown by Haley's narrative. Roughly 3% of pupils in the U.S. were homeschooled in 2016, and roughly 15% of them were black, according to the National Center for Education Statistics. Parents may decide to homeschool their children for a variety of reasons, such as discontent with academic instruction, anxiety about the school setting, and a desire for religious or moral training. Her academic journey was remarkably accelerated by her parents' foresight and their ability to find the right academic path, from high school to law school, and her achievements are even more remarkable considering her experiences as a young black woman in predominantly white academic spaces. This remarkable journey has molded Haley Taylor Schlitz into an history maker, attorney, educator, author, public speaker, and respected thought leader on the issues students of color face in navigating gifted and talented students in public schools. Haley has spent the last few years of her life pursuing education excellence. In May of 2022, Haley became the youngest black American and youngest woman to ever graduate from law school in the history of the United States. After just one year at Tarrant County College, Haley applied to and was accepted to over 15 undergraduate institutions as a transfer student. Her acceptances included Xavier University of Louisiana's prestigious pre-med program, Oklahoma State's Honors College, Spelman College, University of Texas at Dallas, Grambling State University, Tuskegee University, Bard College at Simons Rock, the Early College, Texas Woman's University, and many others. Haley chose to attend Texas Woman's University because she embraced the university's stated purpose to educate a woman, empower the world. Haley's concern about the lack of diversity in the nation's gifted and talented programs and her own experience of being denied multiple times to be tested for the program in different public schools influenced her in selecting a major in interdisciplinary studies within Texas Woman University's College of Professional Education. Of course, with a lot of determination and hard work, Haley thrived academically and was on the dean's list for multiple consecutive semesters. Haley graduated magna cum laude and was honored for her academic success by being selected as the student speaker during her graduation ceremony. Haley is the youngest graduate on record from Texas Woman's University. While at Texas Woman's University, Haley continued her strong commitment to leadership and public service. She was elected to the Texas Woman's University Student Senate as the representative for the College of Professional Education. As a student senator, Haley led the effort to rewrite and strengthen the TWU Student Government Association Constitution and the Student Senate's bylaws. Additionally, Haley led the fight in the Student Senate to build a coalition to publicly support DACA students and their families. In addition to her leadership at TWU, Haley has been active in other international efforts to bring positive change to our world. At the age of 14, Haley was selected as one of 15 students for the Representation Project's Global Youth Advisory Council. In this role, Haley helped create and lead campaigns to engage youth on addressing social stereotypes women face in our world. Haley's work was recognized by the organization, and she was selected to serve as the MC for their yearly fundraising gala in San Francisco, California. Haley is also active in community and public policy discussions. Haley ran for and was elected as the youngest delegate ever to the Texas Democratic Party Convention. Haley's activity in local, state, and national politics led to her serving as the speaker to introduce Senator Kamala Harris at a public event in Tarrant County. Additionally, Haley served as one of the keynote speakers for the opening night of the National Association for Gifted Children Convention in November 2019. Haley spoke about her experiences of being denied access to gifted and talented programs in public school 
and how crucial it was to expand beyond stereotypes for students of color. Haley focused on the need to stop seeing students of color as a problem and start seeing them for their full potential to be the solution to many of the crucial issues that face our world. In the summer of 2019, the Los Angeles Sparks invited Haley to serve as the COO for a day, where she was honored for her academic success during halftime of a game. As we meet America's youngest black law school graduate, Haley Taylor Schlitz, let's explore her law school experience, including challenges, triumphs. Also, we'll discuss about plans for the future, including her goal to become a judge. Why did she choose law instead of following her mother's path by joining her in the medical field, since she's Haley's role model? In 2019, Haley decided that a legal education would help her pursue her passion to make positive change in our world. Haley applied to and was accepted into nine law schools. Haley chose to attend SMU Dedman School of Law. Haley never stopped being thankful for the scholarship support she has received from the Black Women Lawyers Association of Tarrant County and the Texas Young Lawyers Association. Haley's academic success at such an early age led to international media coverage. Her decision to attend SMU Dedman School of Law was broadcast live on Good Morning America. In addition to her interview on Good Morning America, Haley was featured in the American Bar Association's ABA journal, Law.com, Ebony, Dallas Morning News, Fort Worth Star-Telegram, and on the local news broadcasts of CBS, NBC, ABC, and Fox. On February 28, 2020, Haley was featured by Beyonce as one of her This Is Black History 2020 honorees. Haley was one of four people featured during Black History Month by Beyonce. Haley was part of a list that included Stacey Abrams, Coco Gauff, Congressman John Lewis, Issa Rae, Robert F. Smith, and many others. Also in 2020, Haley was crowned Miss Keller and Miss Tarrant County Outstanding Teen. In June of 2020, Haley was elected to serve as a delegate for Vice President Joe Biden to the Democratic National Convention. Haley is one of the youngest people elected to serve as a DNC delegate in 2020. Haley has served as a young scholar for the African American Policy Forum. Haley found the Young Scholar program empowering and launched the ambitious Girls Make Herstory t-shirt fundraising campaign for AAPF with the clothing designer Raygun. Haley chose Raygun because their products are cut and sewn sweatshop free. Their products are also designed and printed by union labor at Raygun. In addition to her work with AAPF, she also did a 2020 summer judicial internship with Dallas County Judge Shaquita Kelly. Haley is also a published author. In 2019, Haley and her mother, Dr. Maisha Taylor, published their book, The Homeschool Alternative. The book captures their experience as a homeschooling family and provides resources to black families on how they can incorporate a homeschool mindset into their education journey. In 2021, Haley was selected as one of six national editors for the prestigious American Bar Association Law Student Division. The division has over 100,000 members. Student lawyers' circulation reaches over 60,000 more than half of the entire U.S. law student population. The award-winning student lawyer blog was named an ABA Blog 100 under the name Before the Bar, and it reaches tens of thousands of visitors every month. Haley also hosted the news-focused online show, Zooming In W Gen Z, that was produced by Citizen Ed. The show was fast-paced news and interviews that focus on the world through the eyes of Generation Z, in 2023, Haley joined State Representative Retta Bowers in celebrating the signing into law of House Bill 567, the Texas Crown Act. Haley has worked as part of the grassroots team since 2020 to organize support for the Crown Act legislation. Haley traveled across Texas speaking to organizations and individuals on how to engage with their elected officials in supporting the Crown Act legislation. Haley also led the effort in 2022 to have the Texas Democratic Party take an official position of support for Representative Bauer's Crown Act legislation. On February 15, 2020, Haley officially joined the Sisterhood of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority, Incorporated. Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority was founded by seven educators at Butler University on November 12, 1922. Haley proudly followed her mother's legacy into Sigma Gamma Rho, and is committed to the organization's mission. Haley is a member of the Alpha Pi Sigma chapter of Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority in Fort Worth, Texas. 
During the centennial celebration for Sigma Gamma Rho Sorority, Inc., the organization unveiled its 100-year celebration portrait. Haley was honored to be included in the portrait and to stand an image with the organization's original seven founders. Haley values that the seven founders of Sigma Gamma Rho were all teachers and that public service through education is rooted in the DNA of the organization. Haley is currently taking an impact year and serving as a fifth grade U.S. history teacher at a school in Fort Worth, Texas. She is also a member of the American Federation of Teachers, Local 9000. Haley deeply believes in the right to organize and collectively bargain. She learned these lessons early on in life and proudly stands up for working men and women around the world. Recently, the mayor and city council of Forest Hill, Texas appointed Haley to serve as the Place 4 Commissioner for the city's Planning and Zoning Commission. Haley also continued her work to create an inclusive democracy by serving as a member of the Emerge America's Young Leaders Cabinet. Haley also serves as a member of the Board of Directors for the Fort Worth Sister Cities International. Haley Taylor Schlitz is the proud daughter of William Schlitz and Dr. Maisha Taylor. Haley has a brother, Ian, and sister, Hannah. Haley continues to enjoy playing the harp and piano. She is a saber and EP fencer. In her free time, she enjoys playing video games with her siblings and drawing. Haley appreciates her family and loves any opportunity to spend time together. Haley's passion for social justice and her advocacy work can be seen throughout her record-setting life. Her involvement in organizations and initiatives promoting diversity and inclusion. But it was not without overcoming certain challenges and definitely not without taking risks. Schlitz said her parents decided to homeschool her when they noticed she wasn't motivated the way others of her age are about school, and her grades have started to fall before they decided to withdraw her from the conventional school atmosphere, a decision that could have backfired. At first, she started to become more worried about what her peers thought of her rather than her grades, and so her parents decided to pull her out of the conventional school system. That, and her inability to get into the gifted and talented program, prompted her parents' decision to homeschool her. Haley proudly admits how homeschool really helped her accelerate and go at my own pace, and how she was able to graduate homeschool high school at just 13, and by the age of 16 she was already a senior in college. With her motivation refueled and no peer pressure to weigh her down, she forged on. Haley's father thinks when you have a child, you have all these dreams of the path they would take and where they would graduate from. And the one major thing their family has learned from their children is that parents really have to be open to different opportunities, things like homeschool, early college, dual enrollment, and do what's best for their children to let them thrive. The bright teenager said she chose law school as the reasonable next step in her education path because the idea inspired her. That was really her entire educational journey. After she looked at it, it really sparked a flame in her to help other students and fight for equity. Initially, Schlitz studied to be a chemistry major in her first year of community college because her mom is a doctor and she wanted to go into medicine. Haley's impact on her peers and the wider community is palpable, and her message for young people, especially women and minorities, interested in law and social justice. She wants to use her expertise and abilities to aid those who are oppressed or marginalized by the judicial system. She also hopes to encourage other young people, particularly females of color, to question the status quo and achieve their aspirations. A wonderful example of what can be accomplished through tenacity and support from family and mentors is Haley Taylor Schlitz. She is also evidence of the advantages of exceptional individuals receiving alternative education, such as homeschooling. There are about 2.5 million homeschoolers in the U.S., and compared to their peers who attend public or private schools, they tend to perform better on standardized tests, have higher rates of being accepted into top colleges, and engage in their communities more. In addition to being a leader in the legal profession, Haley serves as an inspiration for young girls everywhere. She enthusiastically demonstrates that anything is possible and that age is just a number. For others searching for their own success, Taylor Schlitz said she had one key message for them. You don't find your path, you make it, she said then. Take life by the reins, by the horns, and just really make what you want your reality. She also encouraged people to take advantage of opportunities and not to be afraid to take chances. Taylor Schlitz also added how it is okay to make mistakes and how it is an essential part of the journey. She added that when one feels lost, 
The best option is to just go back to one's foundation and build up again, and don't be confined to boxes or stereotypes or when other people are trying to say whether it's no or yes. It's really up to you. Haley Taylor Schlitz's extraordinary journey serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration for generations to come. Her remarkable achievements, unwavering dedication, and unrelenting passion for justice and equality are a testament to the power of hard work, resilience, and determination. If you're searching for inspiration or you're being held back by age or color, meet America's youngest black law school graduate, Haley Taylor Schlitz. Haley's accomplishments is a reminder that the future is bright for the colored and the next generation of leaders is ready to shape the world. Let her story bring back that lost motivation, propelling you to chase your dreams, break barriers, and make a meaningful impact in the world. Remember, age is just a number, and with courage, perseverance, and a commitment to excellence, anything is possible. As we acknowledge Haley Taylor Schlitz's groundbreaking achievement and eagerly anticipate the incredible impact she will continue to make in the years to come. However, the people of today need to understand the circumstances, realities, achievements, challenges, and struggles of black people both in the past and the present to open the door for everyone to enter into a brighter and more inclusive future. How has her story inspired you? Drop comments, like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more inspiring awareness of black struggles. Thanks for watching.